games, games, games. We all enjoy them and we all seem to be entertained by them. But the question is, how do we incorporate them and add them to our mobile apps, our websites, our SaaS products, and much, much more? Well, that's what we'll be talking about today. Three tips on how to add gamification to your next digital product. Yes, I'm Anticio Duke. Thank you for stopping by. Gamification. You hear this term getting tossed about all the time in different, uh, let's say industries, trends. It's sort of like a buzzword, but it all derived from game mechanics. And game mechanics are these methodologies and techniques that encourage individuals and users to interact and engage with the platform. Gamification derived for using these techniques into non-entertainment based products. So apps, websites, things of that nature. When you didn't have an entertainment environment, you had to come up with methods to engage your audience. And that's where introducing game mechanics into products came about. So now that you know what gamification is, let's talk about what it isn't. Gamification is not just a method of adding points and rewards and awards and leaderboards, things of that nature. No, it's a set of techniques and methodologies to use to encourage interaction and engagement of users. So this really, really a distinct and fine line between those who are adding them for these whimsical display of entertainment versus those who are using it as an encouragement for engagement of users. Definitely different. Today, first tip we're gonna go over for integrating gamification into your next digital product, and that is creating a easy user journey. Now, from the days of playing Legends of Zelda to let's say current state of Batman, Gotham City, there were storylines. Storylines created context for you and progression marks for you to know where you were in the game. That's what you would like to do in your next app. Create steps of progression that let the user know and give positive feedback that they are moving through these challenges and they have a clear indication of where they are in the grand scheme of this challenge. So for example, if you are building an app that wants a user to complete an application, let them know that there are a series of steps that they need to complete in order to finish this application. Don't just drop them in there and say, give me all your information and then we'll process it in the mystical lands of the interwebs. No, the more you inform a user and give them feedback based on what actions they've taken, the more they will appreciate the product. So tip number one is file. Make a really easy and informative user journey. Tip number two for adding gamification to your next project. Think about rewards. So creating effective reward system based on focused action. What that means is you really want to spark interest and reward the user for completed tasks or completed actions that they have taken. Because ultimately why they're on your platform is to complete a task. And so you want to reward them if they've executed that succinctly and accurately. If you think of uh, rewarding children behavior, so as a child develops, and they do an action or they have an activity that they do right, you want to reward them, praise them for that action. This reinforces good behavior and lets them know that, hey, I did something right. After all, we were once children <laughs> and now we share the same things as well. We all want to be rewarded and acknowledge the great things that we do. So continue rewarding. 
Final tip in adding gamification to your next project is to be playful, add some playfulness to your Apple website. Okay, don't be a stickler, right? We all want some fun. And if you think about it, playfulness doesn't have to be extreme. It doesn't mean you have to redo the app and create leaderboards or point systems or anything. It can be simple delighters, like upon a completion of a task, there could be a delightful sound. Or let's say after returning or completing a specific project within your app or accomplishing a task or moving, progressing through a different stage. Maybe there's a slight vibration that gives proper feedback and positive reinforcement to the user for that action. These are things that you can do. Super be playful, make it interesting, make it engaging so that users can return. And you know one thing, when people like a app, like a service, a product, they love to share. Remember the last time you heard a really good song? You wanted to share it with your friends and family too. So don't think building products, building mobile apps and websites are any different. Be playful and people will share it. Trust me, add, adding playfulness will work 10 times over. Let me do another thing. I'm going to jump. Let's take a look at my device. I'm going to show you a few delighters or things that other apps have done to add some playfulness and add a little bit of interest into their products to keep people coming back. Well, let's take a look at this app. It's called Droplets. And this app is more for language learning. So I used it played with it and interacted it with my son. And there was some joy found to this app. As you can see from here, they have a progression on food and drinks and I can continue there. And I can move through language, different informational things, items, nouns, pronouns, just to learn a language, teaching my son Spanish at the moment. But if I continue, you see the playfulness in this particular app. It shows one thing or another, how uh, sound wise it works as well as visual cues you can see. So uh, if I want to learn, I can simply swipe, but you can see the animation that takes place. So it's almost as if it's a game. And these are the kind of things that you really want to uh, build or try to incorporate. So now I get the chance to drag an item into the space and see the animation happens. If I wanted to, I can drag different things to different items, right? So I'm gonna try El to do queso. this. <laughs> so I'm El gonna huevo. tap, I'm gonna tap, El azúcar. and I'm gonna tap. El pan. So the audio is a bit low on this, but I'm gonna turn it up so you can hear. So even the audio gives you a little bit of feedback. So I'm El just pan. gonna drag these things El pan. right here. And notice the interaction. La carne. La carne gives you all of these indicators to let you know it's positive reinforcement that your action has been received in a positive way. So that's just one example of integrating some of these gamification tips into an app and rewarding your users for their engagement. So if you found that useful, please share this with someone that you know is building another mobile app website or SaaS product and subscribe. We'll be doing more videos like this. Let me know in the comments below which tip you plan on using in your next product. And I hope I see you in the next one. Until then, know that your life has color. So you should design it that way. In the meantime, I will see you in the next one. <laughs> I should add like, I should add these delightful sounds when I walk or like when I talk to individuals just like. <laughs>
Hey, how you doing? Bing. <laughs> like, hey, what's going on? Bing. Like, 